Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to play with the Amethyst palette from Ether Beauty. It's a beautiful palette, I do love it. And the reason I want it is because on Ether Beauty Instagram, there's this look that keeps cropping up every so often. I really like it. It's very simple, but it looks so pretty. And it's this one right here. Now this is actually by someone, they reposted it. It's by someone called... Um, Marie, I'll leave her handle here. Such a pretty look, I think. So I wanted to have a go at try and recreate it. Um, so if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to take the in transit camera close up from this works to prime and prep my skin. Then, as always, going to go in with the Hip Beauty concealer as my foundation actually do you know what? I'm just gonna use this as concealer today not foundation and keep my skin the rest of my skin quite light I think so I'm gonna go in my concealer brush from Iconic London just pop this in the kind of more center part of my face where I need it and obviously over my blemishes as well just make sure I blend it into the rest of my skin so it's not like a definitive kind of start and end to this product. Okay, then I'm gonna go in my Hansen Pure Bamboo Powder to make sure I set those areas in place. So just go with a light dusting and just set those areas. For bronze, I'm gonna go in my Lima Pure Satin Bronzer in Maracaibo, and I'm gonna take it on a Duo Fiber Face Brush from Real Techniques. And just go ahead and warm up the skin. It's going to give it a nice, kind of light, soft bronze. Nothing too heavy on the face. So just give a soft bronze to the face. Just warms up slightly. Obviously you can build it up. But I think that's the beauty of it being like a mineral bronze. You can go in really lightly. I love this brush. I think this really helps. Again, this is the Real Techniques Duo Fibre Face Brush. It's kind of one of my favourites for bronzer in general. But I think, yeah, because it's also a mineral, it, you can just give a really nice light wash. And it definitely has done some effect to the skin, but it's not heavy or anything like that. But like I said, if you do love an intense bronzer, you can build this up every um, layer by layer to get like a really nice bronzed effect. But I just think it's such a pretty kind of more natural type of bronzer. Anyway, for highlighter, since the makeup collection video, I haven't been able to stop using this one now. So the uh, Rose Illuminator from Lily Lolo. But I'm not gonna go as heavy as I do with my Get Ready With Me, because I did put quite a lot on. I just want more of like a subtle glow, just right at the high point. And I also think this kind of pinky tone is gonna go well with the eye color as well, the purples. I might even just dust this over the brow bone as well. Okay. Ooh. For blush, I'm going to go in the Hansen Pure Healthy Blusher. Just pop this on the cheeks. Bring it up a little bit to the temples as well. And that is the skin portion done. I'm going to quickly go ahead and fill in my brows and also prep and prime my eyes. And I'll be back to do the eye portion. Okay, so I am back now ready to the eye portion. Um, so obviously I'm going to go with the Amethyst palette. And I think it, I don't know if she says what shade she uses. I'll try and find it. But I'm kind of going to work off how I think potentially it's done. Oh, I found it. Yeah, so she doesn't put what shade she's used. But I think I can kind of tell judging by the colours. So she's definitely used... Um, Third Eye and Majestic as the halo, and there's obviously some kind of soft through the crease, so I think it must be Meditation. So that's what I'm going to work with. I just think it's those colours, because that's just what it looks like, judging from this. And maybe I might add something else in, but I mean, it looks beautiful, so that's what I'm going to go for. So I think I'm going to start with the crease shade first. So yeah, I'm going to go in with Meditation just here. I'm going to take it on a Sigma E25 and I'm just going to start blending this through the crease. Now she doesn't bring anything high up at all so this is literally in the crease. I'm not going to bring it any high or anything like that. It's a very pretty soft look. Okay. 
I think this shade's just to give the other colours something to kind of blend into. Now she is wearing false lashes in the picture. I'm probably, I won't be. Um, occasionally I do wear false eyelashes, but very rarely. It's not really my kind of thing. Um, and to be fair, I do think I've got relatively kind of nice lashes, so I don't think I need them as such. Um, but let me know if you're someone who wears false eyelashes and kind of what your favourite styles are and stuff. And maybe I might give them or start using them more in videos if you'd like. But yeah, it's just not really my thing as such. I think they look great for photos, but they just annoy me far too much. I'd rather actually wear like individual false eyelashes actually, as opposed to strip. That's all I'm going to do there. I'm just going to take a softer brush with no product and just make sure this is a Luxie 205 tape blending. Just make sure those edges are soft. I think I'm going to start off with third eye, that one here, because that's definitely the purple that's on her lid, without a doubt. So I'm going to take some of that, tap it off, this is going to be my outer and inner portion of the lid. So yeah, it's definitely like a classic halo look. I mean, to be fair, third eye is so pretty. Take my Luxie brush just to make sure it's blended. Just the edges. And she's definitely also got it all on the lower lash line. But not in a halo style, this literally goes all the way across the lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna take um, Amethyst, no Mystic, sorry this one here and this is going to be my center shade I'm also going to pop it on the inner corner as well using the exact same brush just popping it right in the center Okay, so it's definitely much more of a softer halo in terms of in comparison to hers. I think she must have either left a gap or put eye primer down first to get more definition. But I quite like how this has turned out. It's much more subtle and stuff like that. I'm just going to go and layer up my lashes with the Avril Mascara. Okay, so definitely quite a simple look, but I quite like that as well. I'm just going to finish off with the lips. I'm going to take the Lily Lolo Lip Line in True Pink and outline and slightly soften it into the lips as well. And then for a change, I'm going to go with English Rose from Lily Lolo and pop that on the lips. And that is this look complete. So when I saw that look, I really wanted to have a go at recreating it. No, this isn't identical to that look. Um, but I still think it's really pretty. And it's another kind of simple look you can do if you have this palette. And I just think it's really beautiful and stuff like that. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any requests for future videos, please leave them down below. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.